So I don't know if you all know this, but uh, there's this pandemic going on. I think everyone's going a little stir crazy at this point, let's be honest. We all wish everything was back to normal and that we could just have fun again and make this all be like it was in 2019. The far off year where we could go to restaurants and see a movie. But the important thing is that we don't rush things because rushing things is how we get to something really unsafe. And that's why I'm really disappointed in Warner Brothers and Christopher Nolan right now. Christopher Nolan's Tenet seems to be the first blockbuster to really be pushing the theater-only experience since the pandemic broke out. Normally I'd be happy to go back to a theater. I mean, I miss it so much. Going to the movies is one of my favorite activities. Not like this. See, like a lot of things, we're not ready to go back to it yet. But a lot of people are trying to rush back and get into this movie just because they miss the experience and they love Christopher Nolan. And I get that. I enjoy Christopher Nolan movies as well. I'm not as big a fan as I used to be, but I mean, Memento is still like a 10 out of 10 masterpiece for me. The Dark Knight got me into film. Inception is still great. And I mentioned The Prestige in my first ever video. Like, I like a lot of his movies. But is it worth risking my life to go see one? I miss going to the movies as much as anyone, but I'm not willing to risk my life and the lives of the people around me to go back. Because that's the thing about this disease. It doesn't just affect you, it's easily spreadable. That's why we're wearing masks. That's why we're being asked to socially distance. And it's why we're being asked to do things like sanitize, wear gloves, because it's very easy for us to transfer this disease. And it's not just the risk of you getting sick, because sure, I get it, you may not take that in mind, but what about the people you come in contact with? What about, say, an elderly woman that you may just cross by on the street? What if you get her sick? What if you get your family sick? What if there's someone in your family who's immunocompromised or doing cancer treatments that are affecting their ability to fight disease? You don't know how you might hurt other people. That's why we're being asked to wear masks. That's why we're being asked to socially distance. And the fact that people are willing to throw that out just because they miss going to the theater boggles my mind because I miss it too. But I'm not willing to hurt someone to do this. See, I know we all want to get back to normal and we all want to save the theater industry and make sure it doesn't go away. But you know how you do that? You go to your local theater's website, you sign up for virtual screenings, and you get VOD copies. Or you donate to your local indie theater, or say, you get VODs from, say, AMC or Regal. If you're that dedicated to it, there's safer options. And I know people really want to see this movie. I want to see this movie. I've been purposely avoiding trailers for it because, well, I just happened to, and once I realized what had happened, I wanted to keep going in blind. So yeah, I'm excited about this. But I'm willing to wait. I don't think it's appropriate to be going to the movies right now, and I don't think it's appropriate for them to be releasing stuff in theaters right now. But as long as they are, I'm not going to be going to the theater. I have no other option. It's my safety. So I won't be reviewing Tenet in September. I wish I could, but I can't. I wish there was no virus, but I can't just pretend like there isn't one. I need to be safe. You all need to be safe. We all need to be safe. And I can't make you stay home, but I can control what I do. And I'm going to do what keeps me healthy. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And remember that this will pass one day. But until that day comes, we need to still stay safe.